So this is zero to 60 in six seconds. Zero to 60, six seconds. Yeah, it's a Jeep that actually throws you back in the seat a little bit. Yeah. Hi YouTube, Adrian here from Overland Adventuring and I need your help. I'm here at Jim Thompson Chrysler and I'm thinking about buying the new Jeep 4XE Hybrid Electric. I need your help. Give me some comments down below and let me know what you think. in white what a hot looking jeep plugged in charging up is this going to be the car for me is this going to be the jeep that's going to take me over land is this the new way of jeep in the future i need your help the big question here is is the 4xe a real overlander is it one i can modify and get onto the trails and show you guys what they can do i need your feedback it's on now we're ready to go it's on we're ready to go but no noise yeah it's just the uh vents coming on yeah so if i turn the volume down and i shut off the air that's what you hear now you will notice that there's a noise when we go into drive. There's like a, sounds like a seashell to your ear noise. Yeah. And that's uh, pedestrian facing. So that people can hear you when you're moving. Oh, I see. So it makes a little noise so other people hear you just in reverse? Uh, in forward as well, up until you're just over like 30. Beautiful, so nice. But it's super quiet. It's super quiet. So cool. So we're still just electric right now. Oh, it's so nice and quiet. Quicker than you would normally accelerate regularly. Yeah. Um, just in full electric. But if you switch it over to the hybrid mode, um, if you step on it, it'll turn on both the electric and the gas. And it'll run both at the same yeah. time. So here. Both of them. That's the then it's down, and then it's going to shut the engine off here in a second. Uh, we're charging battery right now as well. You say that pickup is way faster than your old Rubicon with the same engine without the electric. That's right. Way faster. Because we've got the you got the electric in. Instant have, torque. No yeah. rev in the engine, so they rock climb better than others. Yeah. So what I have to do is put down a thousand bucks and they're gonna bring me one of these in the winter time. The one I'm looking at is gonna be the gray or the black. I still can't quite decide. I love the gray on these things, but I've got a few things I've got to sort out with things like the roof rack. I love the front runner products, but I take a look here where the plug-in goes, that's not gonna work. And front runner doesn't have the new design yet. To the store this morning, I had 13 kilometers left, or sorry, 13% left on my battery. And then that's I charged 28 kilometers, no problem. Oh yeah, yeah, no issues whatsoever. And that was at highway speeds, all electric. All electric. This is showing you what's going on. So we've got the power flow right now. We're in hybrid mode. If I switch it just full electric, it's not gonna show any different because we haven't actually turned the engine on yet. Right. So right now we're driving all the wheels because we're in yeah. four. We're in see how it's switched, now it's yeah. two. So if I pull this back, we go back into the four high, it links everything back up and you can see the battery usage there as well. So the shifting's the same neutral and then down and in and yep. back in, you gotta be but rolling it, at a couple kilometers an hour. Yeah, just slow, it makes it easier for it to mesh, but it actually works better. Like on my last one, this was a fight. Yeah. Now it's not, it's so easy. Like I'm in neutral, mm -hmm. neutral and then there, four times wow. high, over, and then two wheel drive, that's it. So it's going yeah, man. That. This thing is cool. So if I switch back into neutral, 
out, back into four high. Or sorry, that's auto out, and then away we go. Auto, that's it. and away we go, man. And then back to two wheel. That's it. I love it. So 185 in in all in electric, 73 in gas, and 258 total, and that's how it breaks down. Yeah. And so it's uh, and 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers overall. That's yeah, cool. and that's with basically just playing around with it and yeah, getting it going. Give me your feedback, YouTube. Let me know: Is this a real Overland machine? Can the hybrid electric engine actually work and take me off into the trails? I'm so excited, but I need your help to decide whether to proceed with this.